In this video, we are going to talk about the rotary options for the We Create lasers. That is both the Vista and the Vision. Their rotary options have recently been upgraded and we're gonna go through what that means and how you might get your hands on one. Hey there, I'm Sarah, you're watching Creative Ramblings. I have talked a lot about We Create Lasers on this channel, both the Vista that's behind me and the larger version, the Vision. I have a ton of videos on those. You can find that playlist in the description. What we're focused on today is the rotary attachment. Now I've done a full rotary vi Vista video, um, this laser right here on how to do tumblers inside this tiny little laser. Um, and I've had really good luck with it. However, there have been some minor issues with that rotary system and we create listen to its customers and they came out with a new upgrade. So in this video, we're going to break apart kind of what that upgrade is, what it means, whether or not you need it and how to get your hands on it. We're also going to do a couple projects so you can see the difference between the old version and the new version. A rotary attachment for a laser allows you to engrave a cylinder. So for example, you can take a tumbler, attach it to the rotary system, and the laser is going to engrave it while it spins. So you can add maybe a small logo just to the front, or you can wrap the entire tumbler with engraving. This is an option on both the Vision and the Vista. What's cool about this Vista right here is it has a flippable laser, so you don't need to raise the machine up. You can pop it in and the laser engraves sideways. So when I got the rotary pack with my Vista, there were a couple things I noticed. The chuck that holds the tumbler grips on the outside, which is pretty standard, that happens quite often. Um, and then it has a balancing part on the end that you put it on. And I found that with certain tumblers that were a little bit larger, when it spins, sometimes it would go off level and your engraving might be a little bit off. But with some finesse, I was able to get it to work for most of my tumblers. I have even done 40 ounce tumblers in the Vista. What we create has come out with is an upgrade to their rotary system that actually grips the tumbler from inside with silicone pads so that when your tumbler spins, it's really not likely to slip at all. In fact, I've had some excellent luck with all different size tumblers staying level the whole time. The second thing they did within the software, so if you have the rotary system and you've gone into the Make It software, there is a non-working area where the laser cannot engrave. This is in place so that the laser wouldn't hit the chuck that held the tumbler. But since the new uh, grip on the chuck goes inside the tumbler, we don't have to worry about that non-working area. So now you are able to engrave all the way to the top of your tumbler. So you can get a true full wrap with this new system. So the biggest difference between the original rotary kit and the new one is the silicone grips on the chuck. The actual attachment that attaches to the base of your laser and plugs in, that's the same. The balancing end, that kind of second piece that holds up the end of your tumbler, that's the same. The little um, rods that put in that you could hold a ring or an ornament on, those are the same as well. So it's really just these silicone grips that are different. And when you get the uh, Pro kit, the, the upgraded one, you still get the original chuck too if you liked that. So here's how to go about getting your hands on one of these. So let's start with some terminology. The term Rotary Pro refers to the entire system. So if you have a laser and it's just the laser, you've never bought a rotary, you're gonna need the Rotary Pro. So you're gonna need the whole thing. The Rotary Kit upgrade is just the little chuck with the silicone pads that will get added to your existing rotary system. So there's a couple different ways to purchase it. If you go on to WeCreate's website, and you are already a laser owner, you can purchase either the Pro, so the whole system, for the Vision or the Vista, or you can purchase the kit, which is kind of the upgrade part that will go on your existing rotary. If you are completely new to We Create, you don't own a laser, and you wanna go, let's say, purchase this Vista and get kind of a bundle that goes with it, you will get the upgraded rotary system, the Rotary Pro system with it. 
So you don't really have to worry about any of this. It's just going to come with it. So let's make a tumbler together. And I want to show you the software and kind of the difference between the old software and the new software. Now this version is not released as of the making of this video, but when the Rotary Pro starts shipping in early December, uh, this software will be released and you will have access to all of this. I picked up this coated stainless steel tumbler. It's got just a little logo on one side, so I'm gonna put my brand on the other side here. So let's get this prepped before we even open the laser. So first I wanna take off the handle. Um, you cannot engrave with the handle. And then I wanna measure the perimeter. So I'm using the tape measure that came with my rotary kit and it has inches and centimeters on here. So I'm going to measure it in centimeters and it gets to about 27 and I need to remember that number. So remember 27, but in the software we need to enter it as millimeters. So we're going to enter 270 millimeters. The next thing I'm going to do is use a little bit of painter's tape and mark off exactly where I want my logo to go. I'm gonna do this because the Vista has a camera and it's gonna show me where the, this tape is so then I know that my logo is gonna get lined up perfectly. Inside my Vista, I have the laser flipped and I already have the Rotary Pro hooked up. This is the old version. So it has this chuck on the outside that would go on the outside of your tumbler. On the new version here, we've got these silicone pads that go inside your tumbler and hold it really well. Everything else about the function of these are pretty much the same. Now I can go ahead and adjust the diameter of the grips. I'm going to go down pretty small because it's a small tumbler and I'm just going to slide my on the top. Then I can use the balancing piece on the other side until it's level. Now I'm going to put the level on and then I'm going to spin it a couple times because I want to make sure it's level all the way around. Take your time with this step and really make sure it's level. You're going to get a beautiful engrave. And then I'm just going to line it up so that the right side of the tape is kind of towards the top. And then we can head over to the software. So we are in We Create Make It. And I want to go up to the top right and choose Laser Cylindrical. And I also want to make sure that we are connected here. All right, so we are connected and we've got laser cylindrical selected. So I'm gonna hit refresh and it will pull up the image of my tumbler in the machine. And this is a pretty light color so we can see it really well. And now we're going to enter the perimeter in millimeters. So that tape measure was in centimeters. It was about 27 centimeters. So we're gonna put it at 270 millimeters and the diameter is gonna be automatically calculated. Now I lined this up pretty well in the center. This is the center line. This is the edge of my tape and the graphic is going to roll or the tumbler is going to roll toward the back of the machine. So now I can go ahead and bring in my SVG. I'm going to merge it just to make it look a little bit better. And then I'm going to make it a lighter color just so I can see it on the screen here. That's what some of these colors are really nice for. So we can see it against everything. And I'm going to size it down appropriately and get it where I want. So I need to put it to the left of the green line and I need to scale it so it fits between those two pieces of blue tape. And I'm going to make my screen a little bit bigger just so I can see it up close. All right, let's stick it right about here. And as you can see on this one, I can see the top of my tumbler here. So I could actually engrave this whole thing. So let me show you a few settings that are different with this machine, with this software than the last one. So right here in settings, I have something called non-working area. Now in the original version of We Create Make It, this did not exist. And this is what it looked like when you were engraving. You couldn't engrave in this red area because that's where the chuck was holding your tumbler. So I would not be able to do this project with the old one. So you still have the ability to turn that on and off, but if I turn it off, it's just gonna confirm that yes, I have the pro, yes, we're gripping inside the tumbler. That's really important. And now I'm able to do this graphic that I wasn't able to do before. So let's create some settings. I've got a stainless steel tumbler in here. It's on fill engrave. And the settings that I like for this 
I'll show you down here. The settings I really like are 78 power and 305 speed. And then I'm going to bump the line density up to 150. I have played around with a lot of different tumblers and this works for me. Make sure that you have some that you can test out before just committing to maybe making one to sell. But I've tested enough that I know this works. So now there's a couple more things I can do. I can do a 3D preview to just see how this is going to look. And since I'm happy with it all, I am ready to hit start. I really, really like framing. Framing is gonna show me where this is going to engrave. So now that I'm happy with that, I can send it over and start engraving. All right, it's all done. I'm gonna open this up, loosen up the Rotary Pro and pull my tumbler off. Now this to me looks like a fantastic engrave, but it needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna start with a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol to just pull that soot off and this looks fantastic. From here, if you still have soot, you can go wash it with soap and water. You can use baby wipes. You can use all kinds of things. Don't go too strong like with an acetone because that may pull off that nice coating that's on there. I hope this video adds some clarity to the new Rotary Pro system from We Create. It's a really great system. What I like is that We Create listened to the feedback, they created something, and they're providing really excellent customer service going forward with this Rotary Pro system. If you want a more in-depth look on how to engrave tumblers, go take a look at my original Vista video on how to engrave tumblers. I did a 40 ounce in this Vista right here and it turned out really well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos to help you move forward in your creative journey. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.